Hello my creative critters and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and today I'm going to finally be showing a little mini sketchbook tour of the sketches that I drew when I was on my little getaway in Wisconsin in an Airbnb with my dog and my family and we went to the racing zoo as well as the Milwaukee Zoo and I want to share all the sketches that I drew on that trip and kind of talk about a little bit of the memories that I made there and maybe share some funny video clips that I took of the animals as well just to kind of have have a little video to commemorate that trip. It was all the way in August and I'm just now kind of going through it. And I think the reason that I put it off for so long was because originally I felt like I was going to rework all of these drawings and like talk about each specific animal and blah 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 but at this point I want to go to the Shedd Aquarium or another zoo pretty soon so I feel like I gotta show this experience before I move on to make more zoo videos so or drawing at the zoo videos so without further ado let's get started. So the first couple days at the Airbnb that I stayed at, there was a zoo called the Racing Zoo, and it was like walking distance from the Airbnb, so my brother and I went there all the time. We went there probably almost every day, every few days at least. We but I think one of the most memorable parts of the Racing Zoo was these lions, man. Like, there was a couple lionesses and they were just hanging out right by the glass of where we were kind of viewing them from. They were like right up close to it. And I will pop an image or like a video or something here so you can see what I'm talking about, but it was priceless. I mean, we got really up close to those lionesses and it, they were just so beautiful. They were both sleeping and then eventually like one of them opened its mouth a little bit and it was kind of like, you know, derpy looking and it was so precious. So I definitely took advantage of that time and really studied their faces. And these are the two drawings that I actually went back into after doing that initial sketch at the zoo and kind of reworked a little bit. And all of the sketches that you will see today I did kind of like with a little bit of colorist pencil kind of outlined and made it a little bit easier to see on camera just because a lot of them were very lightly washed with like colored watercolor pencil. So I kind of tried to make lines here and there just so it's a little bit more visible on camera. But other than that, most of them are still pretty true to how I sketched them while I was at the zoo. So yeah, there were two, these two lionesses, I believe it was a mother and a daughter. And it was kind of fun. We got to talk to a zookeeper there. It was like animal talk or whatever. And we got to ask her questions and things like that so we got some info about the lionesses and the tigers too I got a little background about them which is really nice and I just I'm just always in awe looking at these lionesses I believe this was the same one I think it was the daughter but you know one of them her mouth was kind of open the other one she was just sleeping uh, and then this one's like so the tiger was so so far away and it was really really difficult to see the tiger because it, I mean there's glass but also it was so far away and also it was in the shadow and also it was was like really 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 dark where she was at so it was really difficult to see so like the foreshortening was like trippy and like so that's kind of a real rough sketch of that tiger from what I could see it was very hard to see that one and by the way these are sketches from when I went to I think the Aurora Zoo I don't remember I do have a video going through all of those sketches if you want to check that one out as well but yeah so this is like the first little round of sketches at the racing zoo let's move on to the next page so this is another lioness sketch these are some fosas so they have like a whole indoor like enclosure with a bunch of exhibits and I just loved watching Little Fosa. I'm pretty sure it was my favorite animal to watch at the racing zoo because it was just so active sometimes. I'll pop like an image or like some videos that I took over here so you can see what I mean. It was so playful. Sometimes it was just hanging out and posing for us. Um, my brother and I like to draw the animals so sometimes it was just hanging out and posing and other times it was just straight up playing and like goofing around. It was so fun to watch and it's such a beautiful animal and I really enjoyed drawing them. This is another drawing that that I ended up going back and reworking. And if you guys are interested to see me actually drawing like the reworking parts of it, cause I wasn't able to do a lot of filming while I was at the zoo, but I did take videos of doing this like reworking with the watercolor pencil and the ink and everything as well as these two. So if you're interested to see those videos, just let me know. It's a little bit lower quality cause I was working with, you know, the Airbnb lighting. I had some natural lighting, which was nice, but the setup was a little bit tricky to set up as far as like filming and all that. But again, if you're interested let me know um and then they also 
had some African penguins. I believe it's an African penguin. And they had this rhino there that me and my brother were really drawn to this, this rhino that they had at the racing zoo because its horns were stuck out so strangely. And I will pop an image of what I'm talking about here or video. And it just like the horns were like, like straight out. Like if this is the head, it was like you know, the horns, were, it's hard to explain, but you'll see, I'll pop an image here for you. But it was just such a cool design and I was really interested in especially the horn placements. I've never seen a rhino with like such protruding horns, if that makes sense. But like I said, it was fun to draw them and the animals were moving around a lot. So it was a little bit more challenging to get some of these animals. You'll see later on, there's a lot of sketches that are like, what is that? Is that a scribble? What are we doing there, Sarah? But for the rhino, it was a little bit more easy because they were just kind of chilling in the sun. I do remember there, there was a video that I was able to capture of the rhino. I think he was like just... He plopped down into some mud just to cool off and he was like rolling around and it was so so precious such a great memory and I will definitely throw up an image or I guess a video here so you can see what I'm talking about it was so cute and I'm so happy I was able to capture it on camera okay so here's where we start to get to those really sketchy sketches um, and you'll see the darker lines that I did after the fact with the colorist pencil was to kind of just make it be able to see a little bit better on camera but you can still see how fluid and gestural the sketches were so these are some kangaroos that we saw at the racing zoo from i think the entrance area there was like a big fence and then like down like a bunch of levels or whatever you could see like this plane and there was some kangaroos just hanging out and i'll see if i can find an image or a video or something of them here but we were literally like on the edge looking down at them so that's why we got these like really birds eye poses from these guys here they were constantly twitching i remember specifically they were like moving around flicking their ears you know itching i guess i guess it was it must have been a very fly filled day or something it was pretty hot that day so they're probably either cooling off or getting all the bugs off them which i don't blame them there were a lot of bugs around there especially in the summer so it was fun to kind of get these sketches down but like i said they were moving around and twitching so i was able to capture just the general form of them yeah yeah, I have videos of that too so if I ever want to go back and study it some more I totally can and I think I mentioned before when I go sketching at like the shed aquarium or the zoo I like to hold my sketchbook because it's a pretty large sketchbook I like to hold it like this and kind of draw on the top half of it so like I'll draw you know like this but then you know instead of drawing all the way down here I'll flip it over and kind of draw at the top just so it's more comfortable to hold you know so here we have a couple random studies of the tortoise's head and then the tortoise I mean you can see it's like a really a quick blurb <laughs> and then same with this guy here I think it was forget what it's called some kind of Oh, I'm kicking myself. I didn't write down what the name of the animals were, but I know I took photos of like the information cards next to each exhibit. So I might have to go look through that. But yeah, he was just chilling. He had like a really scabby looking scalp, I guess. And he was just being like a creep on like this rooftop. And I'll pop an image or a video or whatever I took of that guy here too. So you can see what I'm talking about. But it was just being a creep on like a top of a roof, just looking down at everybody. And we were kind of at a higher up location. So we were able to like see at its level but it was still like there was a bunch of other stuff like down here so he was like on a roof looking over this like other exhibit but he was pretty chill he didn't do much so for these sketches i did rework them just a little bit to add a little bit more line and like you can see like the darker purple ish is where i went back in and kind of refined the lines a little bit but all this sketchiness was done in purple watercolor pencil i think so because like i said i thought i was going to go back in and wash it with some water brush pens and kind of like rework it but didn't end up doing that so there is a i believe a red tail hawk and then great horned owl i think pretty sure <laughs> i hope um and then there was like a penguin just laying down and there was a bunch of other penguins as well but then i really enjoyed watching the meerkats they were so fun to watch it was really hot that day when they were out so they were kind of just like switching positions and you know trying to find the shade and this guy was actually there was like a ditch i guess so it was like an exhibit like this and then there was a ditch and then like a bunch of rocks and stuff over here. So this guy was just hanging out like on the floor where that ditch is. And then up here is where like people would stand. It's really hard to explain, but I'll put an image or a video or something here so you can see kind of how the meerkat exhibit was. It was outdoor and he was just trying to find the shade. So he was just like hanging out on like where the shade was at that time. And there was another guy just 
you know, being on high alert. And in the indoor like area where the primates are, there were a couple other animals, the same exhibit or same like area where the fossa was as well. There were emperor tamarins. And when I tell you, I was so, 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 so happy to see Emperor Tamarins in person. Um, if you haven't seen my other sketchbook tours or whatever, I'm obsessed with these little monkeys. They are like tiny little monkeys with mustaches and I'll pop an image or video or whatever of what I took of them when I was there. But man, these guys are so tiny and they moved around so much so quickly. So I was able to literally get like three lines down before it was gone. <laughs> I swear, like you can see this guy was kind of hunched over. I think this was like when they were pretty active, they were getting fed or whatever. So it would like sit there for a second, do a little munching and then it was gone. So I literally was like, you know, and then that was it. Same with this one. Like you can see, I have like maybe five lines and it was gone. <laughs> there was at least like probably 15 or so little monkeys. And when I say little, I mean like they were little bit i think their faces were probably a little bit bigger than a quarter like their faces were so small and i didn't realize they were so small because whenever i study them they're in like high resolution photos and stuff so can't really get um a feel for the size but wow i love them i love watching them so much they were so great they were so cute and they're really interested like me and my brother were drawing by the glass and they would like come up and like they would like tilt their heads like dogs do when they're interested in things and they were just too too cute and i loved watching them they were very active very fast though so they were not the easiest to draw so but yeah you can see i definitely i definitely tried <laughs> um in the same like area they also had another exhibit i think it was an arctic fox and you could barely see them i think there were a couple of them but i'll pop an image here of what i could see of them and it was really cute they were just hanging out um on like this top of this rock thing and they were all cuddled up very cute so i was able to get a decent sketch because they didn't move a lot they were just kind of you know sleeping so yeah but I had to share the Emperor Tamarins that was like probably one of my favorite moments um when I realized that the racing zoo had Emperor Tamarins it was very exciting to see them in person so so this is another drawing of the fossa I'm not sure if this was like a different day or what but we definitely did many trips to that zoo because it was so close to the Airbnb we were staying at in Wisconsin so I'm not sure exactly which days were which drawings but this is another drawing of the fossa. I'll put like an image or a video or something of the fossa from that day because I know some days it was definitely lazier than other days or at least when we saw them there, it was very cute. And then the other like main enclosure of that like indoor area was the orangutans and there was a female and a male, I believe. And the female was the one that was most active. The male was kind of mostly in the back, either getting fed or just like literally sleeping as far as away as it possibly could from the viewing area for the visitors but the female was pretty active i think i got some videos of her like eating or swinging or climbing i took a lot of really fun videos of her she was just living her best life it was really wholesome and fun to watch her just having a good time and taking it easy it was really wholesome to watch um so there's her face there's another study of her face here, I think too. Just like a random, her hands on like a rope, I think. Really quick pose I was able to draw of her. Um, again, she was pretty active, so she was moving around a lot. So a lot of these drawings I wasn't able to flesh out completely. Um, point in case, I'm not even sure what this is. I know I was probably trying to draw her and then she moved into like a completely different pose that was like nothing like this probably so i was like all right never mind and then just started drawing here probably is what happened i don't really remember for sure but i mean why else would i have like four scribbles here um anyway here is another pose of her i believe i think it was like um uh, it was like an arm and then like there was a rope or something and then this was like her leg and her head and her back and her butt like kind of swooping down like that and she had like her two arms up and like her leg on something it was again it was a really really fast fast sketch because she was swinging around and moving and jumping on things so that's another thing i really enjoy about sketching at the zoo is that not only are you in person seeing an animal like in front of you you're also having to work out those life drawing skills and like really work with the animals and kind of whatever you see you gotta put it down because that animal's gonna move so that's another fun thing about drawing at the zoo. Oh, so here's a pretty, uh, pretty bare page, I guess. So, so these are a couple, um, sketches of the monkeys that were outside. I believe they were in the outdoor enclosure because, um, it was really hard to see them because they were kind of far. Most of them were very high up and I'm very short. 
So a lot of them are from like, you know, viewing from below. So this guy, again, they were moving around so much. Uh, so <laughs> this guy had his arm up holding on to something. Oh, if I remember correctly, I think he was in like a tunnel or something. It might've been like a tire. It might've been like a tire or like some kind of tunnel or something. And it was just like, all I could see is like the side profile and his arm hanging off or like hanging on to like a rope or something over here. But I think that's why I drew that circle. Now I'm just remembering because that's literally all I could see was like that shape. <laughs> and then I kind of tried to draw the monkey sitting in there and he had his tail holding onto something else over here. So, but again, he was moving around a lot. So um, I didn't spend a lot of time on these sketches. Same with this one. I believe he was either just hanging out and slouched over like this, or maybe he was like grooming another monkey. I feel like I would have drawn that if that was the case though, but I don't know. I kind of like the gestural like movement that I kind of got going in these sketches here. And this guy, oh my goodness. I remember this one so, so well. So there was like this, oh my gosh, I don't know how to explain it. Like a hut or something, uh, like a some kind of roof of shelter. And this guy was literally just like his belly up here so he was laying on his back and he had his hands kind of up like that and he was laying on his back and there was another monkey like picking out um like bugs and whatever from his fur and it was so cute and wholesome and he was just he was living the dream man i swear he was just having a great time he was sunbathing at the same time he was getting cleaned it was was good for him I think <laughs> and it was just really funny because his face was just like pure like either boredom or just like yeah this is my life this is my life <laughs> anyway um there's also on this page let's zoom out a little so there's just a really fast giraffe sketch um it's literally like seven lines or so just to get the shape down we were able to see the giraffes for a little bit but we weren't able to see them for very long i think they were either just getting fed or they were just going back inside it was pretty hot that day i think a lot of these days were super hot so not a lot of the animals especially like the zebras we only saw like once for like maybe 30 seconds before they went back inside so it was kind of hard to see some of these animals but when i did i was like oh my gosh I need to draw a giraffe so I quickly just kind of slapped one down there but yeah let's move on to the next page hi just kidding I think I'm gonna save the next pages of my sketchbook for next week's video just because I have been rambling a lot for this one already and I'm not really scripted or anything like that so I know this video is gonna be a little bit longer already and this is a good breaking point because I know the next pages of sketches were at the Milwaukee Zoo and I figured maybe this is a good point to cut it off and continue next week I will say for the Milwaukee Zoo, I did a little bit less sketching and a little bit more videotaping and like picture taking because that zoo is so much bigger than the Racine Zoo to walk all the way around and we were tired and I didn't want to draw it. I kind of just wanted to soak it all in and take videos of it because I can always draw from those later. I just really wanted to experience the animals at the time. But if you did enjoy this video of me sharing the sketches that I did, at the racing zoo so far please don't forget to leave this video a like and subscribe for more arts and animal related content i upload a new video here every friday and i would love for you to become a creative creator with me and follow along on my youtube journey if you made it this far leave me a comment and let me know if you like this type of sketchbook tour unscripted me rambling and pointing type video because it's a lot easier for me i don't have to script and edit and trim the audio and record and blah 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 I can kind of just be me and point at things and talk about things and ramble about things because that's what I do best. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative and I will see you in next Friday's video.